Hello students, how are you all today? I hope you all are safe and enjoying the indoor vacation. I am Vishakha ma'am and I'll be teaching you science. As we all know that we have completed chapter 4. So, in today's session, we will be doing the revision of chapter 4 that is living things and non-living things. Let's get started. In our previous session of chapter 4, we saw some of the examples of living things and non-living things and we have also understood about living things and non-living things in detail with their features. So students, let's revise. What is a living thing? A living thing grows over time. It needs food, air, water and sunlight. For example, tree. What is a non-living thing? A non-living thing does not grow. It does not need food, air, water and sunlight. For example, chair. If you remember, we have understood that plants are also living things. Because besides walking, talking, eating and sleeping, there are other features of a living thing. Plants do not move from one place to another as they are fixed in the soil. They make special movements. Many plants feel the sunlight and grow towards it. Plants also bend towards sunlight in the morning because they need sunlight to prepare their own food. For example, sunflower. Now we all know about living things and non-living things, right? As we all know that plants also react to changes in their surrounding. For example, touch me not plant. A touch me not plant folds its leaves when touched. Let's come to the next topic. Features of living things. Living things can breathe, move, grow, eat food, feel and respond to changes around them. And they can also give birth to young ones. So, let's see the features of living things one by one. First, living things grow. All living things grow with time. For example, chick. A chick grows into a hen. Second, living things breathe. All living things need air to breathe. They have different organs for breathing. Human beings and most of the animals breathe through their nose. Plants breathe through small pores on their leaves. Fish breathe in water through small slits on their body called gills. Third, living things need food. All living things need food to get energy and to stay healthy. Plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight, air and water. Some animals eat only plants while some animals eat the flesh of other animals. Human beings eat food obtained from both plants and animals. 4. Living things can feed. Living things can feel things around them. They can feel if a thing is hot, cold, rough or smooth. When we feel things, we are able to react. Let's take an example. If a lady is cooking in the kitchen and unknowingly she touches the hot vessel, what will she do? Yes, she will react to it by taking her hand back. Similarly, animals also react to things happening around them. Fifth, living things move on their own. Living things move from one place to another in search of food and shelter. Animals walk or run with the help of their four legs. Human beings have two legs for walking or running. Whereas, Birds fly 
with the help of their wings. 6. Living things give birth to young ones. That is, living things reproduce. Living things give birth to young ones of their own kind. For example, cow. A cow gives birth to a calf. All living things have a fixed lifetime during which they grow, give birth to young ones, become old and then die. So now we all have understood features of living things. Let's come to the last topic, features of non-living things. Non-living things cannot grow, cannot feel, cannot breathe, do not need food, do not move on their own, do not give birth to young ones. I hope you all have understood this chapter. See you in next chapter. Till then, stay safe, stay home and enjoy. Thank you.